Just nine years old, a local girl's breast started growing and wouldn't stop. As CBS 2 Serene Branson reports, she's now not only battling a rare disease, she's also battling her insurance company for treatment. Eleven-year-old DeLorean Cole is a typical sixth grade girl. Listen to music, watch TV, or I write on my board, or I do a lot. Or I'll sit there and be on the phone. And pink's one of your favorite colors? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pink is kind of my favorite color. But she's battling a painful and very public disease. People, they'll look at me, they'll be like, how old are you? And like, are you 16? And like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like scare. Like, I'll go like this because I don't want people to like see me. At nine years old, DeLorean first told her mother, so. Talia Hicks, that her chest hurt. It's like they grew overnight. Um, if I was to measure, we're talking about maybe her bra went from a 32 to a size 38. They're very red, very hard, and she's telling me, I'm sore, I'm hurting, mommy, look. Doctors at Children's Hospital LA diagnosed her with virginal mammary hypertrophy, a rare endocrine and hormonal disease. Medical experts say there have only been 103 reported cases in the U.S. It caused her breast to discharge and balloon at a rapid rate. And she kept growing and growing and growing. This is the last bra she wore that shows how big she is. This is pretty big. This is a, F, a 50F cup. A size 50F by the time she was 10. That's bigger than a triple D and only found at plus size specialty stores or online. These are the bras that DeLorean was going through and I would have to literally buy these bras every week. The trouble was as she swelled, she faced delays from the insurance company getting specialists and prescribed treatment approved. According to this lawsuit, they've now filed against Anthem Blue Cross and preferred IPA of Southern California. Doctors recommended monthly shots of Lupron to stop the growth. The complaint says IPA denied the claims based on Blue Cross's criteria. It finally authorized one dose, but ultimately the family received this denial letter from Anthem Blue Cross, stating the shots were not medically needed because she was over 10 years old and that they should only be used before age 8 in girls who haven't gone through puberty. My child is not going through regular puberty. My child is going through a breast disease that needs some medical attention. But because of excessive growth, doctors performed surgery on DeLorean earlier this year, which the insurance company did cover. They removed 1,000 grams from each breast, bringing her down to a 42 C cup. There was so much to remove, she needed a blood transfusion, and according to the complaint, nearly died. But her mother says she's now back to nearly a double D cup. The surgical doctor said that she needs to continue on the Lupron so that once she finished her therapy, she won't have to repeat it. Guess what? She's, her breast is growing back. This is due Thursday, okay? Hicks so says the condition the left her unable to go to school to last year. The ability to make tools. She has to wake up, look at scars. She, you know, feeling like she's not normal. And then to sit there and come to me and say, mommy, I got another knot. That's too much for a kid. That's why they decided to take on Anthem Blue Cross with the help of Travis Corby. Every patient is entitled to timely and adequate health care, and that's all she was asking for. Corby says they never offered even an alternative treatment plan and essentially denied the claim based on general guidelines of her being beyond the recommended age for the shots, not her condition. I don't think an insurance company who has never seen her, never spoken to her, her doctor, is going to know, you know, what the right treatment plan is. Leave that in the hands of the doctor. Blue Cross of California did say the family was part of a Medi-Cal plan, not a group or private plan, meaning it's a government subsidized plan. A distinction Corby and this family say shouldn't make a difference when it comes to access to care. They need to do what's right and pay for my daughter's treatments. That's all I'm asking. You know, they're causing a lot of damage here, a lot of suffering, and my child has had enough and so have I. Serene Branson, CBS 2 News. We were unable to reach preferred IPA of SoCal for comment. Blue Cross of California initially said they'd be open to discussing the case, then said they don't comment on pending litigation. DeLorean is still being denied the shots.